Well, Ronnie O'Sullivan, six. Hit it too thick. And to get him tight in behind the screen. Engine week, 22. Far from certain. Nice. Yeah, good recovery. Yeah, it's missable. They always Ryan are. Sullivan. Thirty. One. One thing that O'Sullivan has regained is his relish for battle. There have been times over the last 10 years where O'Sullivan's heart hasn't always been in it, but whenever he got into competition, certainly this season, he's given it his very utmost. His mind is clear. In contrast to the years when his mind was confused, but <sighs> what a bad shot that was. Five. Ronnie O'Sullivan, five. I don't know if that was the most clever shot Ronnie's ever played. They might find themselves snookered here, tight in against the black. Just missed a trick there. Yeah, that could cost Ronnie the frame. <laughs> Fancy this one of these two reds to right middle. It's like he's playing it. Only red he can really leave is the one he's playing, so it might be worth a go. This oh, tremendous right in the heart of the pocket. Well. I think one thing he has learned, Ding Jin Wee, in the last couple of years, Clive, is just. To play the table. I think there was once upon a time when he played guys like Ronnie O'Sullivan, he, he played Eight. against Ronnie, didn't he? Where several unexpected losses of position. to get as close as he can to this. Nineteen. Things you we twenty seven and a frame. Ding has been immensely solid. It's 3 0 to Ding. Yeah, that was very good, wasn't it? To work out, uh, Five. To avoid the cannon. Ten. been okay but for Cannon in the brown 15 yeah they had so much top on it didn't it I think he'll be trying to cannon the red right of the the four or maybe he played that one 16. either way giving himself a decent chance here if this black goes in set fair for four nil So, at last, the chance has come O'Sullivan's way.
One. Knew he was bound to be on the black. Black that he's landed nice in this red. Just wants to be high on the... Oh, that's a bad shot. Nine. To be straight or high in the black there now. He's going to have to play a little cannon on the left one of the, the, the cluster. Just open them up. Well, he's on one to the far left corner here, but not 60. what he was looking for, was it, Clive? No, if he'd been high on the black, it would have been simple to get on a close range red to a close pocket. He rescues the situation, albeit flirting with the middle pocket. Thirty. Thirty-one. Thirty-six. Thirty-seven. Oh, he's up without any problems whatsoever, but he's under just a little bit of pressure at present. 45. That was a good shot as well. He's pretty much guaranteeing now that he's going to have a nice angle in this black should he have to play a cannon. This next, next black puts him 37, so obviously needs one more red. There you see 53. the nice angle. Not sure whether he needs to play a cannon or does the, the top one go. Wow. Very unlucky. Ronnie also 53. Things and we sell. Now he's going to be even more unlucky. He's left these two reds in a plant. a chance of course the brown's not easy but worry about that come the time in all the years I've known him I've never known uh, O'Sullivan moan about his luck but he was doubly unlucky there Six. going in off from the positional cannon worse still leaving the plant Things and we six. Well, hasn't left the red, but at least from the O'Sullivan point of view, he didn't pot it and possibly go on to clear up. Thanks. The blue and pink in the middle of the table were offering good snookering possibilities there. Poor shot from Ding. That's more like it. Well, one thing, he'll be playing it with plenty of pace. He's got to get distance between the balls here. Now, where's the cue ball going? Foul, the miss. Interesting to see if Ronnie puts Ronnie this back. Four. Have the cue ball replaced for Ding. Just... If there's any run going at the moment, Ding's having it, isn't he, Clive? Does even out in the end. Well, not always. <laughs> not always it doesn't. Oh, this is clever as well. Tapping the table from Ronnie. Pot this. Oh, he's gone round the back of it. That's disaster. Tension way six.
change his shot, but not to his advantage as it's turned out. A let off. Red green here, I would imagine, if he gets round the back of the black. <laughs> and that would be enough. Oh, he's perfect in blue or well, pink, so looks like he's going to get his first frame in the board. Sir. Just yellow and green needed. Nine. Yeah. Well, so we'll have to wait a long time for a good chance. He made 53 from it, but it's still been a struggle to clinch the frame. Yeah. Now that he has, though, he is back in the match. 4-0 down, Ronnie, would have been a mountain. Kim <laughs> Jong-Wee leads Ronnie O'Sullivan by three frames to one at the mid-session interval. Foul. Ronnie O'Sullivan, four. He's got a nice gap through here, Clive, hasn't he? Choices, can either hold, hold for blue to the same pocket or cue ball into the middle of the table for green. Opted for the blue. One. Just about good enough, I think. Ronnie O'Sullivan. Careless. One. And still, we expect Ronnie to get that type of shot. One. Seven. When O'Sullivan went into the lead in this frame with 40, it looked as if he was on the way to levelling at 14. three all, but he's lost momentum. 15. It was the red before it, he just didn't get high enough on the black. He wanted to take the one over the pocket first. So the way the table is. 14 point lead for O'Sullivan. It's quite Asian a big one. 22. Looks like he's trying to play it. Now, this is difficult. This is very difficult. Never certain of where the cue ball was going. Looks like Ding can get through. Maybe not plain ball, but just to bend it round the blue a touch. Missed it thick. Now this is a big shot here. I think Jin Hui can get 14 off these last two reds. He's not going to need the pink. It's on the side cushion. How well did he hit that? Right in the middle of the pocket. Surprisingly, it looks like he's coming back for black, but either way, thematically, it's the same thing, and he couldn't have Nine. played that any better. Perfect angle in the black. So, one good shot here. He's a huge favourite. Eighteen. Twenty-one. Twenty-five. Dig needs 
Only a blue that he could pot with his eyes shut. To go two frames ahead. 30. Deng Xiaomi, 30. To leave O'Sullivan needing a snooker, first requirement, keep the pink out, which he has been unable to do. Six. Frame. So Deng Xiaomi leaves Ronnie O'Sullivan by four frames to two. Oh, it's a brilliant shot. He deserves something, a good kiss, and that could not be better. Deserves everything he gets for that shot. One. It was a natural angle. Now, is there a gap through to that red to right middle? Can he? It looks tight, mind you. No, obviously can't get through it. Goes without saying, the way the balls are, the first mistake you'd imagine would be fatal. 98 O'Sullivan to pull up to only 4 3 behind. 91 from Ding. That's what Ding's been waiting for. Ronnie to leave the cue ball a couple of inches off this back cushion. Has Ronnie left a gap? I think he has. I think he looked away there. This mate. He's left Ding this chance. Oh, brilliant shot. One. Played it to the inch. And he earned this chance himself, didn't he, Clive? Very clever. We'll talk about his maturity, haven't we? And I think that's a case in point. Last few safety shots he played. Well, it was almost as if he got O'Sullivan back in a vice, which he was progressively tightening with each safety. Six. <laughs> Thirty. Twenty-one. It's probably worth just potting this here and holding the spot for the red to left corner. Didn't really see it, and that is a huge blunder from Ding Jun Wei. Like I say, if he pots the pink, holds the spot, the pink will go behind the pack of three reds. And he's straight in the other red, stun it in, and the blue's a sitter. I think you just didn't see it, Clive. Not that time, it appeared. Things you wait. 27. So, only 27. <laughs> wow. Well, had he not fluked that red... It would have been right over the pocket. His back's firmly to the wall here, isn't it, Ronnie O'Sullivan? Can't afford any more mistakes. Oh, that's a fantastic shot. Not only the black going in, but the control and the cue ball. 9. 60. Said before he can't afford any more mistakes. Twenty four. To be sure as he can about this contribution. Thirty one. 
Ding was first in in this frame. On 27. 32. Questionable shot choice. Sullivan's right back at him. 36. 37. Portable into that little bag. 42 46 47 <coughs> Ronnie O'Sullivan 47 to go 20 in front. Similar shots a few shots ago for Ding round and behind the black. He just doesn't want to shove a red over the corner here. If he misses it on the thin side, you'd expect him to catch the other red on the way back, so thick's better here. Oh, to knock it in. Well, terrific shot. Ronnie O'Sullivan, One other thing we should remember, Clive, that can never discount Ronnie O'Sullivan. Courage-wise, he's as good as anyone has ever been, isn't he? Yes. When he's feeling up to it, he battles it out to the last. I remember him winning the Welsh Open final a few years ago against Steve Davis from... Uh, it was either two down with three to play or three down with four. He develops the last red by cannoning the greens. The brown disappears. 6 11. So Sullivan pulls one frame back. 18. But he's got the determination to do it. 23. The relish for battle. 29. <laughs> frame to O'Sullivan. But Ding still leads by five frames to four. Because of the distance and the proximity of cube water cushion, this is not a certainty. One. Sullivan to break. This is great. An 11th frame decider. He's got the cue ball exactly where he wants it, but the end red has come Stop down. Stop calling out now, please. Fourteen. It's often said, isn't it, in deciders, you just want a chance. Fifteen. You just get a sense 22. that you just feel like there's going to be one or two twists to come. 
Or the match is through. Thirty-one. Hasn't got above the blue though. The cue ball to slow up. Now has it? Can he get through to the red? Thirty-six. Just. O'Sullivan hoping. Just one chance. Thirty-seven. Plenty of pace. Oh, he's played the cannon. But he's still on red to far corner. Forty-five. Two cushions. Hopefully into the back of the pack. If this works out, could be all over. It's not going to be all over in one scoring visit. 50. When he came to the table, as we said, he horrible ready had to play across the nap into the middle pocket. I'm sure he would have taken 50. Ding Jun Wei, 50. He's followed it up with a good safety as well. <laughs> so he's got the upper hand. 50 to nil. That's a brilliant safety, it really is. What a shot that is from O'Sullivan. He certainly covered the right side of the table as we see it. He's going to have to bend it a touch. Now, what damage has he done? He's left one at least. Now, the chance for the counter-attack. One. Gripping, isn't it? Absolutely it is. I'm having a ball myself here, sitting witnessing this match as these guys are. Young ladies, all absolutely engrossed in this. He's tempted to play for that red that the pink's now covered. He took his medicine, decided to play Eight. for a slightly more difficult one, but. And he's still hitting the ball absolutely beautifully under pressure as well. The outcome of this match, because if he can get nice in a colour. Got on one of those two reds behind the pink. Eleven. A great chance. And that is absolutely A1 perfect. Sixteen. Seventeen. I'd love to be able to play for the red that's Actually touching the pink there, but I'm not sure it's on. Shot will tell us. No, I have to play for the bottom red. 22. 23. Narrowing the gap. 30. It's only 20 now. 31. Needs to play it with a little touch of right hand 30. side, he can do it. Yeah, no problem. Now, how's the angle on the black? 39. Oh, he's just about okay, I think. Angle wise, it's all right, but is he hampered slightly? Just about okay. This looks like the key shot. 46. For a winning clearance. Yeah. 47. In normal circumstances, it's a 499 out of 500 shot, but not in these circumstances. Oh, beautiful. Absolutely beautiful shot.
54. 56. Ding not expecting to get another chance. 59. O'Sullivan has slightly overscrewed from the green. Yep. Screwed that by about six inches. Where's the cue ball? It's not easy on the blue. 63. And the blue is the ball that would put him 18 in front with 13 on. Here we go. Blue for the match. Oh. Ronnie O'Sullivan, 63. Yeah. Don't play it with screw, just play it with top spin. Well, he played it with screw, I don't know why, because then the white can't stick in behind the black. Thanks. Not the time to attempt a long blue when there was every chance of laying the snooker behind either black or pink. Tell you what, what a hit that was. He needs the blue to travel a bit further here, Ronnie. Yep. Big test of nerve for Ding. to hold for pink this for the match <laughs> what a finish now here we go hold on to your hats your gloves your scarves everything across the nap nice angle has to be said if he pots it He's going to have some sort of shot in the pink. This is huge. Third chance for O'Sullivan. And the easiest one. For the third time, blue for the match. O'Sullivan has shown massive... Resolve and composure. It looked as if he might have blown it when he missed his first Daniel chance. Five. Foul. Ronnie O'Sullivan, seven. Just clipped the black.